Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to yet another exciting video in the series where we are building an application that has features like chatting, video calling, voice calling and live streaming. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add video calling to your application within 5 minutes. Now this video is sponsored by Zego Cloud, which is an amazing platform that gives you all the necessary things that you need to build either a chat application, a video call, a voice call, a group video call, smart boards and whatnot. If you take a look at Jago Cloud's product, it has amazing suite here. You have video calls, voice calls, live streaming, AI effect, cloud recording, virtual avatar, in-app chat, super board and analytics dashboard. But what's more interesting is that you also get these UI kits where the same SDKs are implemented, but this process is made a lot easier so that you can start building your product without even have to worry about integrating those SDKs. Also, Jago Clouds give you free 10,000 minutes per month which is more than enough for you to experiment with its products and learn more about it. So now let's get started by building it. And if you remember, in the last video, I've already set up Zego Cloud. I've already set up uh, the permissions that I need and everything. So make sure that you watch that video first so that you know how to do things. In our main dot, we are initializing our gym kit, which is basically Zego Cloud's core functionality. And then we have a gym login page where you enter your username and user ID. And finally, it connects a user ID, which is more important before using any of Zego Cloud's functionality. Now what happens is that when you connect, you go to this gym kit list page, uh, which is basically a chat list of all the conversations that you have had with your friends or users. What I'm interested to do is that I want to add a video call functionality here, a button simply in your chat page itself, which where when you press, you can start a video call. So I'm going to show you a few things like how easily you can customize the Zego Cloud's UI. So let me just enter a name. I will just enter Prince and I'd enter user ID 121212, 12, something that I've used earlier. We'll click on connect and now this is what I get. All right, great stuff. So if you click on this, this is going to be a conversation and this is what we have in the conversation. I did show you how to send images and this text and how great this everything was. Now what I want to do is that I want to add a button here and this is actually very easy. If you go here in the Zim kit message list page, which is rendering all this by itself, I'm not doing anything here. All this UI and functionality is being rendered by Zero Cloud itself. But what I want to do is that I want to add some own custom functionality. So here you have a thing called action. We have app bar actions using which we can add action buttons to the app bar. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add an icon button here and that button will have an on press functionality. Obviously, we're also going to have an icon, which is going to be just say icons um dot video call all right just video cam whatever it is let's go and save this now when i click on this you can see that we have this button here now once you click on this button what i want to do is that i want to open up a page where you can video call with the person that you are chatting pretty interesting stuff right let's see how do we do that first let's go to perspect.yaml file and you have to add this dependency here which is zego ui kit pre-built call once you have done this, save this, come back. And now here, what we're going to do is that we're going to actually add a page where you can do video call. So, well, in the views, in the sample chat, I'm simply going to add something. Let's say Zim video call dot dot. In the video call dot file, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply, uh, let's say stateful visit. We're going to say um, Zim video call. And what this is going to return is what we just you know, installed, we are going to return a Zego UI kit pre-built call. So let's see what that is. We should have something called a Zego UI kit pre-built call. All right, this is what I have. Now, as you can see, it asks for a few things here, something that we are going to need. So let's uh, talk about it one by one. We have an app ID. And if you remember, I've actually uh, saved those both in config. So if I simply type app ID, I will get my app ID. The same goes for app signature too, right? Next thing that you should remember here is call ID and a user ID. So call ID is something that uniquely identifies a call and all the users who have the same call ID can join the call. So what you have to do is that when two users join this uh, video call, we have to generate a unique call ID, which should be unique to the two users itself. Next is user ID, which says which user you're trying to join the call. So for user A, it will be user B. And when user B clicks on join, it should be user A's ID, which is again great. Next thing is username. So, you know, you can just put a username, whatever it is. You can even like you can type or you can pause it, what, you know, whatever you want. Finally, you have config where you can do some configuration. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to grab the call ID and user ID here so that you can easily start it. So now that I have this, all that I have to do is that I have to use it. So we have wizard.call ID. In the same way, we have wizard.user ID. 
the username part what i'm going to do is that as of now i'm just simply going to so do something like user space colon and simply i'm going to show the users you know user id you know so let's just go visit dot user id although feel free to pass another variable and use it that's completely fine and in config we are going to have this so let me just copy this and we are going to have something called as um say okay ui config dot i'm going to have a one to one video call with a user that's it that's pretty much it that i need right now nothing more than this once i've done this uh refresh it or maybe just close the application restart again since we just installed a new package and what i'm going to do is that i'm also going to open this in a in a physical device so let's run this and let's see what do we get so now i have my application up and running here and i also have this up and running in a physical device what i'm going to do is that i'm simply going to you know, enter a name i'm going to use the same user id that i have used so 12 12 and 12 and what i've also done is that in my physical device i have just entered some random user id and I have used 13 13 13 the second user id that we are having the conversation with and you can see the message being displayed here now let's actually get back to the interesting part which is when you click on this button we should start a video call remember our work is not yet done we do have the ui kit integrated here but we still have to call this so I'm simply going to copy it let's go back to our chat list page and here we're going to get two things okay what i'm going to do is that i need i'm going to just add this current user id and the user with whom we're going to have a video call together and it's obviously going to be unique okay in every video call so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to say that you have a uid or let's say um id just is equal to so the conversation dot id is the id of the user so there we have this and your self id you can get it via zim get then you have to do dot current user and i'm going to say that yeah i'm sure it's not null then you have base info and then here you have user id so these are the two things that we get and i'm simply going to convert it to a string to ensure that we don't have any issue now that i have a uh, you know unique id all that i have to do is that i need to call navigator dot of context dot push and then we have a material page route and here i'm going to simply call a context and we're going to return the space that we just added now remember we have to send two things so i'm going to send the id and the user id is obviously going to come from this one simple place that we just talked about it's going to be conversation so let's add conversation dot id now i have all the things that i need let's save this and ensure that everything is synced so you have to come back to this space and then go back there to ensure that it's working otherwise it won't work all right so it's the time for final test what i have to do i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on the video call button here and as you can see a video call has started you can switch your camera so since this is the emulator camera this is what you're going to get and finally you can turn your mic on or off you can turn the audio on or off and you can also turn your video on or off what i'm going to do is that i'm going to join from my next device just to show you how it's going to look so let's click on that and although i have joined the video call i know that you can't see anything here and that's because we have made a very simple mistake see the thing is that here when i added the conversation id and the current user id when the other user logs in and when they try to join this call what's going to happen is that well their user id is going to be in the end and for the first user their user id is going to be end so basically we're going to have to reverse the string not something that we want what i'm going to do here is that i'm simply going to add a constant value as of now although it's recommended that in if you're trying to use it in a real world application you should generate a unique id store it in a database and then share that with both the users i'm simply going to add let's say uh five once i'm going to save it let's come back let's sync this and let's sync this here too and now i'm going to start the video call and let's see how interesting it is so i'm simply going to click on this and we're going to click on the video call here and as you can see this is the first state of how it looks now i'm going to join this from my other phone all right so i have joined joined right now and as you can see so there was audio which is why i have to mute it okay and all right so basically well, that's pretty much it this is my simple keyboard as of now uh, this is the screen where we are recording the tutorial as of now and yep that's a video call up and running you do have extra features like clicking on this will you know reward the video so you can try that too and that's pretty much it from my side in this video where i have shown you how to add a video call in your flutter application using jevo cloud's amazing services which i recommend you to try at least once and remember they give you 10000 free minutes every month to experiment with whatever you need so i'll catch you up in the next video till then keep coding keep loving keep sharing and peace